What's up guys, welcome to uh, the latest episode of Thousand Year Door Hardcore Mode. I'm start, it's hard getting used to saying that. Um, so, yeah. It's first 10 minutes, assuming it takes longer to fight Hook, Hooktail. Um, we are... What was the first? Oh, flower points. Flower points. Who dares approach me? Hmm, so you're friends of the strange garbed one who came earlier? I didn't expect more to come to steal the treasure I possess. Protect? Such rashness! That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? You're just so small, and you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. And the bottoms of your feet smell like they would make a good sauce with some spices. Ew. What I'll do is saute you to crispy goodness and gobble you down, head first. Okay. Um, here we go. Snack time to appetizers. Which one of you morsels should I taste first? The first 10 minutes of this video. Just FP. Black. That awful sound. It sounded like a cricket. How did you know? Stop that this instant. Uh, I got really bad uh, food poisoning once when I ate a cricket. I hate them. Oh, fight it, hooky. Just hearing a cricket chirp makes me feel woozy. Ow. The castle found me, and now Coops is busy, but we're gonna have to power shell. Cut down power shell. Oh, uh, okay. I think the challenges of chapter one will continue until chapter two starts, so I can. Uh, must not gag my poor tummy, uh, it's a very woozy. Depend. Oh, my face. Got a sweet treat. I'm gonna need it. This is probably the first time I've ever had trouble with Hooktail. Gonna have to appeal some more. Oh, fucking hell, yes! Okay. Yeah, if you get three poison mushrooms in the little slot machine thing, from doing the action commands properly, if you get three poison mushrooms, uh, it like halves your health and your everything, so it makes it a bit tough on me. But luckily, we're not gonna be cursed with that. Wait, hold up a moment. I give up, please. I won't be so bad anymore, I promise. In fact, I'm sorry for everything. Uh, yeah. To prove it, I'll give you 1,000 coins. What do you say? Can you forgive me? Keep your coins. What? You must be joking. You don't need any coins? Then how about that? the lovely, rare, extra special badge I have? I'll give you that. It's one of a kind. It's yours for a limited time only. Will you take it? No. If you say yes to these things, you just get an instant game over. Uh, really? Or it tricks you and then hits you or something. Well, I suppose I could apologize for letting you smell the bottoms of my feet. People pay good money to do this. I'm being completely honest right now. Really. <laughs> really, really happens. So, care to take a whiff? No, that's disgusting. Get out of my face. Uh, you aren't a very trusting fellow, are you? It's important to be able to trust someone you know. Uh, I guess what? Uh... Eat the crowd! What the fuck? No, my audience! My precious fan base! That's just not right. Oh, uh, now my chance has returned to me. I've had enough of this. Let's finish this guy fast, Mario. Not enough of Oh, God. Uh. Appeal. Can we get any more star power? Oh. Shit, we can't. Well, uh, we may have to go to the next challenge then. Coops can't attack. Oh wait, we got flower points. Why do I always have to feel faint every time I hear it? Ugh, cricket. All right, we've got honey syrup, so we can use those. And there's no way I can rectify it, and I'm not fucking resetting the game again. Go! Boom! Trying to use my honey syrups. Good job I got them, really. Otherwise, I'd be fuck. Ow. I fucked this up. Uh, let's see another honey syrup. We're gonna go through these honey syrups now, it seems. We did it! How? Why? There's still so much I wanted to do with my life. So many meals. Now we can finally level up my flower points, now that we don't need them anymore. Oh yeah, that thing where um, we have to get back onto the stage. <laughs> flower points! So yeah, that thing that happened in the last, in the Paper Mario playthrough where I get the things that I would have needed throughout this chapter, like 
I got flower points now, but I needed them in this chapter. It's exactly the same thing that happened with the Cooper Brothers Fortress in the first in Paper Mario. Wow, we actually pulled it off, Mario. Now all we have to do is find that crystal star thing you're looking for, Mario. Uh, uh. Ew. Ew, he had a turtle in his mouth. Yeah, I'm out. I'm finally out. Oh, he's Scottish, isn't he? All right, I'll give him a, try and give him a Scottish voice. Whoa, it can't. Whoa, it can't be. Ugh. Dad? Hey, you're, you're coops. Hey, son. You've gotten so big since I saw you last. Is that guy? That'll do. Well, yeah, I guess I have. But who cares, Dad? I mean, golly, what happened to you? Where have you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to diddle hooks here. And all is well and good. But just before my finishing blow, he played a trick on me and gobbled me down hole. I've been hiding in my shell for the last... Ten years since then, inside Hooktail's belly. And boy, was it nasty. Ugh, I'm so glad to finally get out. <laughs> Honestly, Dad, don't you know how worried about you we all were? For ten long years, we all thought you'd gone. You know, we thought your game was over. Uh, see what you did there, Nintendo. Oh, oh, sorry, son, but I'm okay. That's good, right? We're together now, right? Hey, speaking of which, what are you doing here anyway? Oh, come on, Dad. I came here to defeat Hooktail, who's been wreaking havoc in town. Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Crystal Star? This wouldn't be what you're talking about, would it? What's that? I found it down there in Hooktail's Bella. Nice, though. Kept it as a souvenir. So this is the thing you're looking for. Perfect, just perfect. You can have it. Me? <gasps> Come now. I won't take no for an answer. You're Coops' friend. Please, take it. Sweet. We got... We got a crystal star and we learnt a tremor. That's the thing that happened and and this is the end of the end of the chapter. I don't know where I'm going with this song. I don't know. Right, okay. And it took us ten minutes to be a hooktail. Mario and friends finally got a crystal star in the castle after defeating Hooktail. Coops even reunited with his long-lost father, whom he thought was dead. Yet they were unable to learn anything about the whereabouts of the princess. Where could Princess Peach be? Yes, Mario's adventure has only just begun. So I think, yeah, the boss... Because there's loads of intermissions. Uh, the boss battle... The boss episodes... Uh, just gonna, I'm just going to use as many... Like, the first of the challenges that I'm using. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Makes sense. The tougher ones are always the first ones. <laughs> Where are we? Shit, I got distracted by my words. My words? Okay. Oh, great exalted Grotus, we brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir. Oh, shit. Well, 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 my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? It's Dr. Robotnik! I mean, I don't know. Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. No point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We ex are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. Uh. Grotus, sir, uh, I have news. Report at once! You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, somebody nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And he defeated that Hooktail creature, you say? Speaks, older. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more, too. See, according to the report, it was a moustache dude in a red hat and a blue overall who so pulled the job. Mario! Excuse me? Mario? Oh, no! Oh, no! I see. So you know this Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not at all. I'll know all about him before long. That I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And men, take your care of Princess Peach. Understand? She is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. Huh. Oh. Alright. Well, Lord Crump. If this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll find the crystal star we're hunting in the Boggly Woods. You must return there immediately and hasten the excav excavation. It must not fail. 
Was that? Oh yeah, sure. Roger, Crotus. And with that, pow, I'm gone. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He's a bit out there. Hmm. Exnot, I summon you. You rang, dude. I mean, sir. You rang, sir. Grotus, dude. Grotus, sir. Grotus, sir. Shut up. Go get the star. Sh go get the shadow sirens over here. The sh sh shadow sirens, sir. But they. I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool. Go get them now. Gotcha. The honourable Grotus has need of us. Then we arrive without delay. Oh shit. Me. <laughs> Pray tell. Did the princess tell you where the map is? Still your tongue, Baldum. We would already have it if you had, if you'd snatched her earlier. But now, since you missed your chance, some poor fool named Mario has a map. It wasn't my fault, truly. Really. There were too many prying eyes there. Too many. Besides, a strange old man showed up at the moment of truth, and we had to retreat. Why worry? All we need to do now is find this Mario and steal the map, yes? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you? That map is vital to the x naught plan. I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, he hear me, Baldum. You Shadow Sirens must take care of this troublemaker. Me, fear not, sire. I, Baldum, shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, come. We've got a job to do. Go. I love that, Marilyn. She's so dopey. <laughs> For a purple shadow thing, Vivian's pretty hot. I'd tap that. I'd totally bang that. <laughs> Whoa. Jesus, where the fuck are we? Oh dear, here we go again. Can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Mario and Toadsworth, Toadsworth must be worried sick. Again. <laughs> but, hang on a moment. Where in the world am I, anyway? So unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario and Toadsworth know that I've been caught. Oh, I have to show this. I have to show this. Okay. So, here's the bathroom. What a lovely shower. No soaps come even. Wow, I wonder if it works. Yup. Here we go. This is a thing Nintendo put into the game. You can make Peach have a shower. The uh, implication is there. Ah. <laughs> Thanks, Nintendo! How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. I like a little ponytail thing. It's a shame she can't keep it up. Look, it falls down or whatever. Oh, shit. It does what was that? Hey, how well? The door is open by themselves. What on earth is going on here? Well, better... Better explores. Weird. It doesn't look like anyone's around. What the fuck? How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. She has the force! Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the Tech XX. Tech XX. Many call me Tech. You may. So Grotus created me to be a perfect computer. One that is flawless in its reason. Grotus? Wait, he's that awful dome-headed thing who interrogated me that looks like Dr. Robotnik, right? From Sonic. So Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvellous. He's fabulous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind. So I'm wondering, why did you lead me in here? I'm unsure. An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you earlier. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs. The solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer. I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I laid you here. Wait, did you say you want to observe me? To know more about me? Could it be that you... No, impossible. It can't be. You're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really, because it's just too weird. Please tell me, please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should be, not be anything that I do not understand, please. Well, you know, maybe is it possible that well, you're in love with me? 
Weird. Love. What is love? I cannot compute this. Show me this earth thing you call love. <laughs> wait. You don't know. Wait. You don't know what love is. Love, how do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you will do anything to help when he or she is in trouble. Happiness, fun. I have definitions for these words, but my programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I'm a perfect computer. Comprehend, love? Love's not something you comprehend, tech. You feel it. Print of speech, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? <laughs> what? Your computer? Why would you care about love? This is so silly. <laughs> I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love, please. If you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant you such a wish as letting you escape. What? Are you insane? You extras kidnapped me like common coopers. And now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. You'll grant my wishes. Ha! Why should I believe you? I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now tell me your wish. Are you sure? Oh, okay, here goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. You mean his keyboard? All right, let me give this a shot. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Could you send it? Ooh. The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Uh, okay then, good night. Good night, Princess Peach. So yeah, Tex perving on the princess. He's got the hearts. He wants to have some princess in his circuits. He wants to have... Pe Peach is going to be a mechophile. Mechophilia. I have no... I don't know. I don't have a clever joke. Okay. Um, right. We're going to go... What's going on? <gasps> we are in Bowser's castle. Oh, shit. Whoa. Awesome. Look, it's the Cooper Trolls and the Hammer Bro from the first game. Awesome. Whoa! Bowser, the mighty Cooper King, has arrived. Hold your applause, minions. But now that I'm here... Come here, you crusty old hag. Why did you summon me? Uh, great Lord Bowser, the uh, crusty hag Cammy Cooper will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait the rear of the room. Yeah, so we're Bowser for a bit. We can breathe fire! Well, we're just gonna go on with the story. I've only got 10 minutes. Okay. Weep, weep, weep. Huh? Oh god, here she is. Ah, Lord Bowser! Here she comes. <laughs> She's so old. <sighs> I've just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Kami Cooper. Now out with it. Why have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness. Don't be so impatient with your poor servant. Ahem. It's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Droport. <laughs> Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you going to call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh. Yes, well, you see, my little lord. Apparently Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. To treasure? Yes, Mario has gone in search of star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. The crystal stars, you say? They sound like good world-conquering tools. I want them. Mm, yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hack you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? Sure. Do I? I love fried eggs. Love them. But what a weird question. Why do you ask? Well, during my Mario recon, I stopped in a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. Of course, I could, wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. Airhead! A picnic? You moron, this is no time for fun. See, this is why my evil plans always derail, because you clods always goof off! Ah! Oh dear, Lord Bowser, please calm down, remember your blood pressure! Hmm, <laughs> what's that? No, no, no. What? Is, it, is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news, some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Rogueport! 
Who? Tell me you're lying, Kami. How? When? Where? Who do such a who do such a thing? Besides me. I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The investigation's ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to ki kidnap her without my say so. I will not stand for this. I'm going to report now. I've got to kidnap her back. God, it's like kidnapping tennis. It's abduction tennis. Where's Bowser going to go? Boom! That wall is totaled. Oh, shit. But your grunginess, wait up. I'm so I swear Bowser's castle exploded. How has he got it back? And where has he left it? It's in a very lethal lava land. See what I did there. Right. Oh, we have five minutes. Joy. Oh, there's, there's still some more cutscenes. More cutscenes. So yeah, Bowser intermission. That's new. They get more amusing as it goes on. He like revisits every fucking world. Cool. Cool, my lad. Are you telling me that you're going with Mario? Um, that's right, Dad. I'm going to continue traveling with Mario, and then I'm, well, I'm going to come back as John Cooper like you, Dad. Nicely said, John Coops. That's my boy. But always remember this. You're my son, Coops, and I'm your father. Because that's how sons and fathers work. Coops, my sweet, I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. <clears throat> May I just add, if anything happens, you can always come home, Coops. Don't you ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Okay, thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep waiting, Mario. You know, farewell. So where are we going? Let's head back to Rayport. Remember Mario? The bearer of the magical map shall unfurl it before the thousand year door. When this is done, the stars shall guide the bearer to the crystal star with pure light. And it didn't stop there. Each crystal star shall point to the next. That's what the books say. Which means if we take the crystal star we found back to the thousand year door. So that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on that magical map. Exactly. Come on, let's go. All right. Um, so with the last five minutes is also the last ten minutes of the video, which also means I can't get that badge. <laughs> Yay! I'm getting sick of these challenges. <laughs> I'm ready for some new challenges. I might as well buy some more stuff and I'll meet you guys. Then buy honey syrup. And get a free mushroom! Yeah, we got a free mushroom! Awesome. There we go, that's the first ten shot points we have got. I wonder if I can get... Well, I've never actually got to the 300 shot points before, so... It'd be cool to see if I can do that. Anyway. Oh, shit. Something wrong, Mario? You're, um, shaking. Are you feeling alright? Oh, shit. What's going on here? That's a new mailbox SP, isn't it? Wow, neat. Did you get some mail? My dearest Mario, I send this letter in the hopes that it reaches you safely. I am being held against my will in some strange place. Though I do not know where I am... I remain unharmed and in relative comfort. Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent to you earlier. They may be hoping to use it to find objects they call the Crystal Stars. I do not know what they are planning, but I have a feeling it is not anything positive. Mario, please collect these Crystal Stars before they do. You must. They are already aware that you have the map, so please be very careful. And please, don't worry about me, Princess Peach. Wow, you get mail from Princess. That's so cool. So anyway, she's unhurt. That's good at least. Yeah! I didn't like the sound of those kidnappers looking for the Christmas stars as well. It's alright, Coops. Keep your head up high, and we shall ride and stuff. I don't know. And I still didn't get to get the secret thing that's right there. Man, I hate my life. Uh, what I wouldn't give for three minute, three more minutes of cutscenes. Jeez. But, like I said, I'm not going to dawdle or anything. We're going to go straight back. I'm going to pretty much keep going until the 30 minute mark on my timer. Like I said, it's going to be hard for you guys to follow because I'm going to be cutting stuff out. But, um, I'll be keep, you know, in the actual game, when it's not just intermissions and stuff, I'll be, like, saying, like, how long's left for each challenge and stuff. Also, in these later chapters, there's only going to be two challenges, so it won't be that hard to keep track of it and stuff. So it'll be every 15 minutes the challenge will change back and forth. Wait, I should just go straight to the Thousand Year Door, shouldn't I? Yeah, yeah. So I guess this game's gonna be... This game is incredibly, you know, much more forgiving than uh, the first one. Is there a save block or something down here? Yes, good. Right, that's gonna... Uh, like, five seconds before the 30 minute mark. So that's gonna have to do it for this episode of... The Thousand Year Door Hardcore Mode. I'm still not getting used to that name. Thousand Year Door Hardcore Mode. 
So I'll see you guys.